the pins have arrived. Oh my god. It boosted me massively. I was I think it's gonna be really stunning. Obviously, right now it's these are what we'll go free with the I have made a huge decision. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the start of another studio vlog. I've already filmed this whole thing and then I've gone to check the footage and the sound was off. So we're gonna try again. Welcome, thank you so much for being here. Last week's vlog, oh my gosh, you guys, you boosted me massively. I was feeling really down about YouTube and I'm feeling good again. I hit 12,000 subscribers, so welcome. It's gonna be an amazing video this because there's loads happening this week, loads of exciting things. And these are things like I've been waiting for and it's it's been a long few weeks, but this week my Kickstarter pins arrive and a huge pin restock of pins that have been out of stock for a year nearly. Like it's just an expensive hobby <laughs> to have this and yeah there's like five or six pins that need restocking i just didn't have the cash to do it you know um so when i did the kickstarter a couple of weeks ago i had some money left over i also did some portraits on patreon and that money has meant that i could get a pin restock and it's all arriving this week <laughs> so i'm not going to get my kickstarters out this week because that's just not possible but i'm going to document the arrival of them be the most pins i've ever opened in one go there's 18 new pins and like six restocks so um i'll document it all for you i've had loads happen in the last few days which i will share with you loads of new things product wise are arriving in terms of the kickstarter i got my stickers which um these are what will go free with the uh, pins. I have loads of these that have arrived. I also got a pin restock of these pins. So these have come separately because these are done with Kelly Lou's manufacturer because this was the project I did with her. So these have just arrived. These have been restocked and I also have a matching sticker. These are on the website now. Speaking of website, I had a good brand new website. Uh, <laughs> I've had this on my to-do list for years. Uh, to rebuild this website on Shopify and in the past 10 days I've done it. Um, uh, it's been hard to do but I've just put it on the to-do list and I got it done and I would love it if you could check it out. I'll leave a link below. It's a nice fresh looking website with new things on it. So yeah I've done that. Since I saw you last I've rebuilt my website. I will do a full video explaining it and like my tips and why I've done it because lots of people are messaging me saying like why have you left Wix? Um, I will do a video in a few weeks when I've used it more and I know what I'm doing and um, there's loads of reasons. One of the reasons is to integrate with Royal Mail better and just all the things. I'll leave that with you and I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. I've also got new products arriving. So do you remember, have you been here long enough when I used to have this notebook, Magical Things Can Happen? It was an absolutely gorgeous notebook. The quality of it was gorgeous. It was an amazing seller for me. Um, I don't know why I didn't bring it back because I did like three restocks of it. Um, anyway, a few people recently have messaged me to say if like I'm bringing it back and I just thought, you know what? Sometimes we focus so much, don't we, on making new stuff, but why don't we bring stuff back that did really well? So I've ordered more of them. I'm so excited. They're gonna take another week, I think, to arrive. But I ordered a few other things to kind of match. So I have a new um, notepad, you know, with this like gem design going around it. Um, and it's got all the, the sheets. The only thing is, I think I left too much of a gap there. Like, I think it looks nice in the design, but I obviously like didn't want it to be cropped and I think I've gone too far. So when I get them done again, I'll move this up slightly but they are super pretty. The quality of them is gorgeous. And I also got a matching bookmark. So it's like a velvety bookmark with the gems on it. Super pretty. And I'm really happy with that. So those two are new. I'm going to give my print version uh, an, up, an update um, and then there'll be um, the new notebooks that'll arrive next week as well. So 
those will go live probably next week. So that's kind of everything that's happening. Um, I've got my Kickstarter that I need to do and that are arriving any day but I haven't filmed in a week and um, I've had some things arrive while I wasn't filming so I just want to quickly do some shout outs to some small businesses that I've bought from recently um, let's do that now so first up is my gorgeous friend Claire from OK Doodle I bought her new pin how stunning is that I will leave that linked below and then I also ordered from my lovely friend Adele from Deli's Designs. She did this amazing drawing challenge and she's had a colouring book made um, for, for all the drawings she did. So I bought this for Luca and I also treated myself to her new pin as well. So I have two new pins and then I've actually just had this delivered this morning, which I will have a nosy at. I support all of Kelly Lou's um, Kickstarters because her pins are just gorgeous um, and I can't remember which two I backed. <laughs> oh, of course. So I went for Overthinker because I certainly am and Always Hungry because I certainly am. <laughs> so yay, I have four new enamel pins to add to my pin display which I will do in a little bit. It is Monday and it's a busy Monday. I have already done a Zoom call today and got some stuff done. I have a couple of orders to do and I would like to finalise the backing cards for the Kickstarter. So normally I would have them here by the time the pins arrive, but I'm slightly worried because the pin backing, like before when I've done special pin backings, the size has been accurate, but it, it's like a give and take. But this one is gonna be illustrated and has to match the pins and like the horses have to sit on the, and I'm just like panicking that I've done it wrong. So I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to wait until the pins are here and I can triple check the size in, or if I just take the risk and order them. And then when they're here, I can just start shipping out. I don't know what to do. I think, I'm gonna open the files. I've not opened the files for a few weeks, so I'm gonna see how they look um, and get them ordered. But yeah, I'm not gonna really chat too much today. I've got loads to do uh, for a freelance client. I will be back with you on probably Wednesday. So I'm having to switch my day off back to a Tuesday. It's a long story. So I'm gonna to have tomorrow off and I'll be back in on Wednesday where hopefully I have the pins. Fingers crossed. <sighs> Oh my god, the pins have arrived. We have 20 kilos of enamel pins have just arrived. And we're gonna unbox them together. So in here we have my Kickstarter pins. So there are three normal size pins and there are 15 mini pins. I also have a restock of six or seven other older pins in here. I'm trying to think of the word that summarizes and I think physically sick is, is what I'm going through right now. There's 4,000 pins here. That's a lot of money. <laughs> like I've poured everything, in, everything into this. So, let's just get them open let's just have a look together let me let me put you in a better position so you can see right i've just ripped them open because it had my address on them so let's have a nosy in here first oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> oh my it's hard to know what angle is the best, where to put you, and you probably just want to see the pins, but I also have to think about me look, watching this footage back, and I would love to see my reaction to seeing them for the first time, so. We have all of the mini pins. Oh they are stunning, like they are absolutely gorgeous.
these are all the mini pins and they just look beautiful like I'm okay um this I have to show you this like I can't look at this are you ready hopefully it's in focus <laughs> How cute is that? It's so little and diddy, but so adorable. Right, let's just get everything out and then I can show you. We have restocks, finally. Oh my God, I've needed these pins back in stock for so long. I'm absolutely thrilled. Like, what the heck? <laughs> I can't tell you how excited I am. <laughs> if you've been with me a long time, you'll remember when I was talking about doing my first ever enamel pin and like one day how exciting that would be. And right now I have all these pins on the table and I'm just, it's absolutely incredible. Like what, what has happened and what is happening. <laughs> and I'm really excited. And this is gonna mean that my shop will be stocked for the rest of the year and I'm thrilled about it. So what we'll do is let me get them out and get in some kind of order because <laughs> right now I'm a bit overwhelmed. <laughs> so I'll get one of each out and I'll show you how it looks. Um, I just want to say thanks if you backed my Kickstarter like you made this possible and I cannot thank you enough. <sighs> Right, I've put the restocked pins in some of these tubs. So these are all the ones that have been restocked, which I'm so happy about. Like, do you know, it feels like a weight has been lifted knowing that I have these back in the shop. Like some of these have been out of stock since, like I only did these on the Kickstarter and I sold out pretty much all of them, especially the wand. Um, and they've just been out of stock for ages. So to have all of these back <laughs> is so amazing. Um, so I'm gonna put these on the shelf. And then I really need to like figure out more pink tubs because <laughs> I don't have many of them left and they don't seem to make them anymore. So I'm gonna put these on the shelf um, and see what I can use. Right, I've managed to find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that weren't being used. You all made fun of me when I bought all these pink boxes. But now, who's laughing now? Who's laughing now? I'm going to fill them and show you what I have. So, the first one, which is one of the main reasons we've done this whole Kickstarter. Oh my God, it's absolutely stunning. <laughs> I don't know if you can see because it's so light, but there is screen printing on the bum. Um, it's stunning. I'm so happy with it. It's so gorgeous. I will go through them. I will find seconds and things. What I tend to do with a Kickstarter, um, that's kind of the first job I do is just go through. I'm not gonna do it today. And I try and grab a few random ones from throughout the bag and check them. And if they tend to be good, then there's no immediate cause for concern. <laughs> um, but I have already checked the colours and everything before they were sent to me. So I knew that they would be okay. So kind of filled that tub up. I have hundreds of them <laughs> because you backed in your hundreds. So um, these will go on my shelf as like extras. Um, that's that. Now the other one. Oh, it's so pretty. The screen printing just like adds so much to it. How gorgeous is that? And then the two of them together. How gorgeous. So I do have a really special backing card, which I worked on on Monday and I haven't ordered it yet. 
because I wanted to check the size in. So I can do that today now that I have the actual pins. So once I've done the Kickstarter, which I will be doing next week, all of these things will be going in the shop. Like the horse pins, everything you see will be going in the shop. So don't worry if you missed out on the Kickstarter, you will be able to get them. So I filled that one. And then obviously I have another two bags of those onto uh well i showed you before didn't i um so let me get it up again so this is the freebie pin if you backed both the horses but this will be available in the shop on its own which and it says believe in yourself and then it says be you like in the colors and it's really special uh, i have enough of those to send them out to a lot of people we've got a lot of free ones going out and then i have some to go in the shop as well so those fit nicely in a tub as well. And then I think it's time to look at mini pins. So, like I said, I have 15 new mini pins. Three sets. So they these won't be sold individually. These will be sold as sets. I have um, five in each set, but one pin from each set is Kickstarter exclusive and won't be coming to the shop. So... Which one should we look at first? Should we do Magical Nature? Because I'm really excited about Magical Nature. So in the Magical Nature set, we have the little leaf. All of these have sparkly uh, white on the inside. Mushroom, that came out super cute. A feather, which is really special. The butterfly which is quite a big pin actually, came out really nice. And the cloud. So in that set, it's the cloud pin that is Kickstarter exclusive, that won't be coming to the shop. So if you get one of those, it's very special. <laughs> then let's do under the sea. We have a little anchor. We have some bubbles. We have a super cute little fish. We have the little wave, again, all with the glitter on the inside. Hopefully you can see that. And then the exclusive pin for this one is the shell. So if you have one of these, looking back like in the future and you're watching this back and you have one, it's very special, very, very exclusive. Not many people will have them. And then the final set is the fairy tale set. So in this set, we have the little star. We have like the draping that you would find on maybe like a castle or something. We have a little crown. We have the sparkles that I use in everything. <laughs> and the exclusive one in this one is the little fairy tale book. So there we go. Those are all the mini pins together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of organize all of this into tubs and then i'm going to print off the test backing cards that i did on monday um so that i can test them out they're not going to look as good as they will when they come um because i don't even think i've got very good paper or card um but it's more for the size i'm not bothered about the how it looks it's more will they fit especially the mini pins so um yeah let's do that and then let's see how they'll look together i can't believe it i'm so happy <laughs> just seen me 
uh, printing off some things and seeing how it looks and the size is going to work perfectly so I'm going to go away and get everything ordered and um, but I just want to show you how they look on the backing card so the double pin set please I'm sorry about the paper that I've had to print on um, it's not right at all but hopefully you can see this is how it will be it'll be an A6 postcard size and you have the two horses like that and then the freebie pin in here um, and I think it's going to be really stunning obviously right now it's not <laughs> not at its best but I think people will want to keep it on there and um, I'm really thrilled with that and then if you've just backed a horse on its own um, obviously all my pins come on the same backing cards they all come in these um, but for this one um, at least for now um, with this with the Kickstarter it's going to come on this um, backing card which I think is really special. I then obviously have the glittery stickers that I showed you earlier in the week and then the mini pin sets. So right now they are on just my standard backing cards but I'm going to have ones because right now they say enamel pin at the top so the new ones will say mini pins. This is the magical nature set. Um, I could do to when I actually do them properly I'll bring these two down a little bit they're a bit a bit cramped but um, this is how they will look on the backing card we also have under the sea they look really good together and then the fairy tale set so those are how everything's gonna look and I'm do you know what I'm really happy that these look just like how I put them on the Kickstarter. Um, I'll do a little side by side. So I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled that it all worked out. And I cannot believe it's all done. Like the Kickstarter's here. It's, I'm just, I'm just going to be very busy over the next few weeks getting everything done. Before I go, I have a few things I want to talk to you about. Some big news. Um, hang on, let me go sit at my desk. So I have some pretty big news to share. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know this already, if you saw my stories. Um, I have made... Someone's just placed an order in my shop. That's a very nice sound. <laughs> um, I have made a huge decision and I have decided to leave this studio. Um, earlier in the week, I um, put in my notice and I will be leaving my studio. This is the first time I'm getting upset about it. I'm at, it's a really positive thing. Um, it's a thing that's necessary. So basically I moved into this studio in October of 2020. It was a really crap time in the world, but things were doing well for me. Like the business was taking off and I had this extra cash and I was like, oh my God, I can get my dream studio. And I did and I moved in and it's been amazing. I've absolutely loved having this space and it'll be very very hard to pack it all up but um the cost of living is rising and my main way that I make money is through patreon you guys know and I'm so grateful for my patrons they're the reason I got this space in the first place um I'm back at the height of COVID, my Patreon was, you know, it was doing so well and um, I could afford to take a wage and I could also pay all the bills here um, and I had no worries and it was amazing and the cost of living crisis has caused my Patreon to go down and it's still amazing where it's at, it's still in an amazing place, but it can't, it doesn't cover me and the studio anymore so what's happening is, at the start of the month when my Patreon money comes in, um, it pays all the bills here, covers everything, um, and then I pay myself with what's left, and what's left is not much. And it's just having a massive effect on my family, and um, I, I had to sit back and think, um, the reason I started this, the, if you go back to my early studio vlogs, I will tell you that my goal is to build a business where I can afford to have time with my son 
and I can take him to school and pick him up every day and have a balance. And Luca starts school in September. <laughs> we got his school place. And I sat back and thought, oh my God, I did it. I built a business where I'm gonna be able to take him to school and pick him up every day. And I am so unbelievably grateful. <laughs> I, I never had that with my parents and I'm so excited <laughs> so I have decided to leave here and to move back home where I can be a really good mum and um, I don't have the stress of having to get all these shop sales just to, you know, cover what we used to have. I love working on my shop and I love making products and I love doing Kickstarters. But my focus now has to be Luca. And I'm so excited for that. I'm so excited that I built this business with a three month old. And we've got it to the point where I can be there for him when he needs me. So it seems like I'm really sad, but I'm not. Like, I'm really excited. I'm sad. I'm sad to leave. I don't want to leave. But I will be able to have extra money in the bank to do things and to make better products and to do all these things. And who knows? One day I'll be back when Luca's all grown up and has his own family. I'll be back in my own little lilac studio shop. I don't know what I'll have. But I just want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for sticking with me. I'm still going to be vlogging, I'm still going to do all those things and they'll probably look like my old vlogs where I'm back at home. I'm going to have to say bye to my pink sofa. <laughs> but the neon sign is coming, I promise. Um, I'm going to document it and I'm going to be here for another three months because that's my notice period. But um, yeah, there's some big things happening. Um, Health-wise, I'm not ready to share just yet because I have no answers yet, but I will get answers later this week. But it could potentially mean that I need to have some time off, so... <sighs> yeah. There we go. There's my big update. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to go... <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Thanks for being here. Uh, it's an insanely exciting few months. What this Kickstarter has meant for me. All those pins, I could not have done that without you. And I have stocked, my shelves are stocked and they will be stocked for the rest of the year because of it. And that takes so much pressure off me and I can't thank you enough. So I am gonna go. And I will see you next week for another video where I will be doing my Kickstarters, getting them all out. Please bear with me if you are expecting something. I'm going to work as quick as I can, but also not too fast that I make mistakes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you very soon for another one. Bye, guys.